Today we're talking about one of the latest steps in unpredictable things Donald Trump just kind of does as president. It seems like every day when I open the newspaper I can't tell whether it's going to be Christmas or Halloween. Although there have been plenty more Halloweens to the point where I think the scariest haunted house nowadays is the House of Representatives. It was built on an Indian burial ground. Well, Thursday night, Trump might have delivered a small gift in the randomest of places. Drug pricing. I swear, does this guy have a dartboard in the Oval Office where he decides random issues to legislate? Anyways, yes. We're revamping the way our healthcare system pays for pharmaceutical drugs. Because, well, probably because it's so messed up right now, it would literally take a political genius working with Martin Shkreli to find out how to make it worse. The Trump administration's drug pricing plan puts the US on a path towards policies like those in Europe, where governments use tight cost controls. Ooh, Europe! It's so classy. I want to be buying Xanax the same way they do in Paris. So what happened? New policy proposal uh, under how Medicare pays for some drugs. Now these are specifically for Medicare Part B drugs. Those are drugs that are administered in the doctor's office or the hospital, not ones that you pick up at your pharmacy, which are Medicare Part D drugs. Man, does it get hard to be excited from some of this stuff. We're changing the way Medicare Part B pays for drugs. This is world shattering. If you believe in incremental change leading to large policy shifts, so this is significant because it would represent a sea change for a country that has long resisted controls on drug prices. So what is this new policy? Well, President Trump and Health Secretary Alex Azar said that the administration would create a reference price for high cost medicines paid for by Medicare, based on comparable prices from other countries. Well, that sounds good, but a reference price? What does that mean? Will we finally be able to conclusively say we are getting ripped off? Glad I had a reference price to refer to. It's a little more complicated than that because they are proposing tying payment of those drugs to an international average of what 17 countries similar to the United States in terms of uh, their economics um, pay for these medicines. Uh, they want to uh, do that because they, Trump has been saying for a long time, other countries pay a lot less for their drugs than we do. So we're tying our drug prices to foreign countries. That's one way to solve our problem. Hey Pfizer, I'll have what they're having. You know how I know this is a good idea though? Everybody hates it. Republicans in the drug industry compared it to government price control and socialized medicine, while Democrats criticized Trump for not going far enough. So let's break down this reference price. Before this, Medicare was essentially the out of touch person at the third world market, just buying everything without bargaining at all. And we just realized that some people were actually getting a lower price and kinda asked if they could step in and get us that watch for a discount. This is not only good for the consumer, but also good for the government. This international pricing index model would save $17.2 billion for patients and taxpayers. Patients alone would see their out-of-pocket costs drop by $3.4 billion. It's amazing what happens when you realize that the pharmaceutical manufacturers charge 1.8 times more in the US than in other countries for drugs that fall under the Medicare Part B program. Uh, this came up from the Health and Human Services Department today. $17.2 billion was the Medicare Part B spending compared with the average $9.1 billion from other countries. So alright, pretty sure I don't need to spend any more time convincing everyone that something is wrong here. The solution, according to the Trump administration, is to, rather than divine the value of a drug, the proposal respects the fact that pharma voluntarily agreed to sell drugs at discounts elsewhere and we're just saying, give us some of that. So if you thought there was any exaggeration as to what I was saying earlier, the administration is saying they're not setting prices. That's socialist. We're letting the socialist countries dictate our prices. That's, well, not really capitalist, more just kind of weak. The so-called target price of these drugs, which include treatments for cancer, would be 126% of the average of what other countries pay. Because come on, you gotta have a little corporate welfare. I mean, we don't want to seem like we're just copying those countries. We have to be slightly independent. So this might just sound like a reference price, 
But that's only the catchiest part of this proposal. It's actually a three-pronged solution, which apparently just kind of fell out of the sky. I mean, Trump did say at a recent Wisconsin rally. So we've done a real job, and healthcare is going to be our major focus, one of our major focuses. But, like, he says a lot of stuff at rallies. So what are these other prongs? Well, Medicare currently has a great system for incentivizing doctors to overcharge patients and the government. First, it would eliminate the 6% doctor commission for Medicare Part B drugs and replace it with a fixed fee. Now, I've heard some proposals that are a little hard to justify, but I have no idea who thought any of this would be a good idea. There is some lobbyist out there who is able to retire after this one. Doctors get paid more the more they charge the customers and subsequently the government for prescribing drugs. And furthermore, a commission? The government's just sliding doctors a little extra on top for prescribing medicine to the elderly. Hey, good job doing your job, here's some commission. I looked up the 2003 Medicare Prescription Drug Improvement and Modernization Act that put this into law and it seems to have just sort of fell in and happened. Under our new proposed payment system, doctors will be paid a flat rate. Now, when you think of it, it's like being a contractor or anything else. If it's an expensive drug or a less expensive drug, it's the same. It doesn't take any more. He's just a man of the people. Hope that clarified something to someone out there. So, it changes that commission-based scheme to a flat fee. The final thing this proposal does is allow private sector vendors to negotiate prices for drugs covered under Medicare Part B. Wow, allowing negotiation in the private sector, that's a thought. Now, because our healthcare system is undoubtedly one of the weirdest, it's actually pretty complicated to get to the uncontroversial conclusion of negotiations. With Medicare, we're stuck with Medicare Part B, can't negotiate prices. So what the president is proposing today is let's shift some of those drugs to Part D, where the private insurers come in and they will negotiate prices. The goal is to bring down the drug prices by $17 billion over five years. So we're just moving the prescription drug costs from doctor services to prescription drugs. Genius solution. So those are the three prongs, a five-year gradual lowering of prices for Medicare recipients to slightly above the average paid by our equivalent countries, changing the commissions we pay to doctors, and shifting certain hospital drug services to a negotiable plan. Elephant in the room? Plenty of people are saying he's only doing this for the midterms. And probably, but politicians are like puppies. You have to give them a pat on the head when they do something good. I mean, if you think politicians don't look at opinion polls, well, then you probably worked on the Clinton campaign. This is not a particularly new or partisan issue either. You know, President Obama and the Obama administration had tried to change the way we pay for things in Medicare Part B too, and that didn't end up playing out because there was so much opposition from the industry. It appears as if Big Pharma isn't partisan in who they let modify these drug prices either. Because as soon as this was announced, in another sign that this is probably a good thing, their biggest lobby, the Pharmaceutical Research and Manufacturers of America, went on the offensive. They say this will jeopardize access to medicines for seniors and patients with disabilities living with devastating conditions, such as cancer, rheumatoid arthritis, and other autoimmune diseases. And that sounds horrific. I mean, if your healthcare system isn't providing healthcare, then you failed in every sense of the word. If your entire argument is based on the fact that, well, I won't sell you medicine because you decided to pay me only slightly more than other countries do, I think you're going to need to go back to the drawing board though. So that's the pharmaceutical pricing scheme that the Trump administration just released in one large nutshell. We'll see what happens in the coming days, but for now, thank you and that's all I have to say about that. Hello YouTube, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to support independent nonpartisan comedy news, remember to subscribe by clicking on this floating logo to the right of my head. Or do it the old fashioned way by clicking the subscribe button below. Ring that bell so that freedom will continue to ring, remember to give me a thumbs up, and as always, thank you for watching.